Hello everyone, my name is Rama Izuela and I'm a student studying at Tespur University uh, in Food Engineering and Technology Department, MTech second semester. And in this presentation, I'll be uh, covering the topic on uh, edible coating of fruits and vegetables. And these are the subtopics that we will be discussing in this presentation. Uh, introduction, history, properties, classification, hydrocolloids, lipid-based edible coating, composite-based edible coating, applying method, advantages, disadvantages, conclusion. Introduction. Uh, the post-harvest loss of fresh fruits and vegetables are estimated to be 20 to 30 percent of the total produced. Uh, they are perishable in nature and different methods of preservation has been adopted and applied uh, for the increase of shelf life and edible coating is one of the uh, methods that has been applied uh, and uh, edible coating can be defined as a thin layer of material which can be consumed and provide a barrier to oxygen by crops of external source moisture and uh, solute movement for food. Materials having high mechanical strength, uh, lightness, softness, uh, water resistance, and transparency uh, were required uh, for uh, adopting edible coating. Edible poly biopolymers, including proteins, uh, polysaccharides, and lipids, provides the same feature. Edible coatings are to prevent loss of firmness and moisture. Uh, they control maturation, uh, development, and respiratory rate and prevent oxidative browning and uh, decrease growth of microorganisms. Edible coating materials can be consumed along with the fruit and vegetables. History <clears throat> Edible coatings or edible films have been used uh, for centuries in the food industry. Uh, for example, waxing of, uh, of fruits and vegetables and uh, cellulose coating in meat casings. Edible coatings have been used since the 12th century in China. Uh, the waxing on fruits was invented and first time uh, commercially applied on fruits and vegetables in uh, 1922. Uh, edible coating provides an additional protective coating for fresh fruits and vegetables. Properties Edible coating have a good berry properties to water moisture, oxygen, uh, carbon dioxide, and ethylene. It improves appearance and mechanical handling to maintain st uh, structure and color. It contains active components such as antioxidants, uh, vitamins, etc. And they enhance nutritional composition without affecting its quality. Uh, it, it also provides a protective covering on fruits and vegetables and enhance their shelf life. Classification. Edible coating uh, can be classified into three categories, uh, such as hydrocolloids, uh, for example, polysaccharides, proteins, and alginate, and lipids, for example, fatty acids, acryoglycerides, and waxes, and lastly, composites, uh, for example, protein, uh, protein polysaccharides, uh, protein lipid, and polysaccharides. This is a table showing uh, different types of edible coating. As we can see, hydrocolloids are subdivided into polysaccharides and proteins. Uh, polysaccharides contains gums, starch, and pectins. Proteins contains collagen and gelatin. And uh, lipids is uh, lipids uh, contains fatty acids and then waxes. Uh, and then composites are uh, bilayers and conglomerate. Hydrocolloids. Uh, hydrocolloids originated from animals, uh, vegetables, microbial or synthetic, and they are hydrophilic polymers. Uh, they have hydroxyl group and uh, may be polyelectrolytes uh, such as arginate, uh, carrageenan, pectin, carboxymethyl, cellulose, cisgentin gum, and gum arabic. And they are partially or completely dissolved in water. And the main principle is to uh, increase the viscosity of the aqueous phase or continuous phase. Uh, which is the gelling agent uh, thickness. It is divided into two classes, uh, namely polysaccharide-based and protein-based. 
political right based. The most common political rights are used for edible coating of fruits and vegetables are ketosin, starch, arginate, cellulose, pollulin, carrageenan, gel- gelan, gum, etc. Uh, they have poor moisture barrier properties and it is water soluble. Uh, it gives crispiness, hardness, compactness, uh, thick- thickening quality, adhesiveness, and viscosity. And cellulose derivative. Cellulose derivatives are uh, made from polymer chain of two repeating unit of anhydroglucose or beta-glucopyranose residue attached to one four glucosidic linkage. Modified cellulose derivative edible coating and uh, films give colorless clear solution, odorless and tasteless. And they have a poor gas and water barrier properties. And this is the structure of cellulose. HPMC, hydroxy uh, propyl methyl cellulose. Uh, it is a non ionic water soluble macromolecule. Uh, it is capable to form gel on heating. And HPMC is the byproduct of propyl oxide and chloromethyl. HPMC are soluble in cold water and uh, after dissolve in water uh, it gives different viscosity characteristics solution and this is the structure of hpmc polysaccharide based the most common polysaccharides are used for edible coating of fruits and vegetables are ketosin starch arginate cellulose pollulin carrageenan gel- gelan gum etc uh, they have poor moisture barrier properties and it is water soluble. Uh, it gives crispiness, hardness, compactness, uh, thick- thickening quality, adhesiveness, and viscosity. And this is a structure of ketosan. Gums. Gums are used for preparation of edible coating uh, because of its texture capability. Gums are soluble in water. A uh, mixture of gum arabic, gore gum, and xanthan gum are used to form equal coatings uh, with good addition properties in wet batters. It shows excellent water barrier property. Uh, it is subdivided into three parts like uh, exudate gums, for example, gum arabic, and extractive gum, that is agor gum, and microbial fermentation gum, that is xanthan gum. Alginate. Alginate is obtained from brown seaweed, contain, uh, uh, brown seaweed and it contains excellent barrier for moisture and uh, water vapor. Uh, it contains stabilizing, thickening, suspending, coating, or film pro- producing gel. Uh, forming as and forming and stabilizing emulsion properties. Pectin. Uh, pectin is naturally found in fruits and vegetables. Uh, they are good for low moisture fruits and vegetables. And, uh, high mitos- high metoxy pectin (HMP) are excellent pectin compound uh, for producing good film and coating. Carrageenan. Uh, carrageenan is water soluble polymer and uh, carrageenan coatings or films uh, form a gelation uh, mechanism during moderate drying process. And for the last one, agar. And agar gum are obtained from red seaweed, rhodophyceae family, and they are hydrophilic colloidal in nature. Protein based. Plant based protein edible coating material are milk protein, casein. Wheat protein, uh, zin from maize, uh, gluten from wheat, soy protein, etc. Animal-based proteins are egg albumin, uh, collagen, etc. And excellent barrier properties for aroma and oil and uh, oxygen and it gives strength, but it is not effective barrier for moisture. And there is a good oxygen barrier property at low relative humidity. 
and kasi nanaw kasin and whey protein. Kasin is a milk protein and it is easily dissolved in water uh, and it is edible. Uh, kasin edible coatings are easy to form. Zin. Uh, zin proteins are obtained from maize and they are made from corn gluten flour. It is immiscible in water and it dissolves in aqueous alcohol, uh, glycol esters. It is effective to prevent color change, firmness, uh, weight loss, and it increases shelf life of fruits and vegetables. And it has a good uh, barrier property to oxygen. Uh, it also has an excellent barrier property to water vapor and about 800 times higher than other edible coatings. Lipid based. Lipid base provides shiny and glossy appearance to food and uh, most, li most common lipid based coating materials are kernel wax, beeswax, paraffin wax and mineral or vegetables oils. And they have a good water barrier capacity and a combination of lipid and polysaccharides protein are used in uh, coating material improve, uh, coating material to improve their barrier properties. And most common lipid-based coating materials are waxes, lax, fatty acids and alcohols, acetylated, glycerides, cocoa-based materials. Composite-based. Uh, they contain combination of protein, uh, polysaccharides and lipid-based materials. Uh, they are used uh, to enhance and improve mechanical strength, uh, moisture and gas barriers properties of the edible coatings and films. Composites are uh, composite based are divided into two categories. Uh, the first one is bilayer composites, and the second one is conglomerates. Uh, this is a table now uh, which shows the different types of edible coating used uh, for different types of uh, fruits and vegetables. Uh, like for cut apple, fresh cut apple, uh, sodium alginate, uh, gel and gum, sunflower oil. We protein concentrate uh, WPI and WPP are uh, used and for tomato and grapes uh, aloe vera gel uh, type of edible coating are used uh, and for mango uh, ketosan aloe vera topical flour sago flour and soy protein are used and as uh, we can see for strawberry the more than uh, 10 types of edible coating uh, uh, are used but for gova, fresh cut gova, uh, only aloe vera juice is used, uh, which shows that uh, depending on their properties, uh, different uh, different types of edible coating should be adapted for each and every uh, fruits and vegetables. Applying method: uh, edible coating can be applied in the following ways. Uh, number for number one, uh, dipping. As the name suggests, uh, dipping uh, the food material is dipped into the solution of edible coating material, uh, and then uh, when after it is removed, then it is dried, and then uh, the edible coating is done. For brushing, uh, the food material is brushed uh, with, uh, with the coating material. Extrusion. Uh, the edible coating material is applied uh, by the process of extrusion uh, and for spraying, uh, it, the spraying material uh, is used uh, for spraying from the, into the outer layer of the uh, food material and solvent casting. Advantages Edible coating improves retention of acids, uh, color, flavor and sugar. Uh, it also maintains quality of fruits and vegetables during storage. Uh, edible coating reduces weight loss and firmness loss. Uh, the decrease uh, polymer packaging and waste. Uh, edible coatings can be consumed along with fruits and vegetables. Uh, they contain they contain health beneficial nutrients. Disadvantages: uh, thick coating can prohibit. Oxygen exchange, uh, which causes off flavor development. Uh, edible coatings have good gas barrier properties, uh, which causes anaerobic respiration. Uh, and due to this 
normal ripening process is disturbed in fruits and vegetables. Uh, some edible coatings are hygroscopic in nature, uh, which help to increase microbial growth. Conclusion Edible coating is widely used for storage of fruits and vegetables. Different coating materials such as hydrocolloids, lipid-based, and composite-based are used. It extends shelf life, reduces water and moisture loss, delays ripening process, and prevents microbial growth. It is safe to consume and environmental friendly. New concept like herbal edible coating has been developed. Different types of coating material is available for different species. And these are the references that uh, from where we take all this uh, information. And that's all that we can present in uh, this uh, presentation under this topic. Thank you.